Bring us in, babe. Welcome to Coco Caliente. Caliente. We are pregnant. We are pregs. Did I start that out too soon? No, I think that's exciting. We're pregs. Yeah, we can finally say it. It's, uh, yeah, it's bizarre. (laughs) I think, I don't even know how to express how I feel about it because it's so exciting and it's something that I've been wanting to happen for such a long time. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you have too, but you've always just wanted to get married first. For sure. Yeah, but the fact that it just happened and now we're here uh, 12 weeks along now. Yeah, 12 weeks. I feel really, um, really blessed. For yeah. sure, that it just it happened, and it's just like, hey, it's cool. <laughs> I'm happy about it. You know, it was at a really good point in our relationship and lives because we've been supposed to be married what like four times by now. Yeah, and so I I just think that we we're prepared. It's not for us. It's not like oh we're pregnant. Oh crap! Like what are we gonna do? We're not ready. We don't have a home. You know, we don't make no, you know, we're, sustained income. Right. Like we're we're in a good spot in our lives right now to where this is perfect. Mm-hmm. Little Bean is gonna be loved. I don't like that you referred to him or her as Little Bean. Little Bean. I think that's I don't know. It, it's kind of cute, but at the same time, I guess let me think of it in the context of like a cute little coffee. Coco Kelly and well, Nicole, bean. Did, Nicole didn't like it because I used to call it Little Bean and her Big Bean. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be Big Bean. <laughs> I don't know. He's just Adult Bean and Baby Bean. It's it's fine. He, he's going to do what he wants whether I want him to or not. <laughs> anyway, but as this was unexpected. For sure. But not totally out of the question. Uh, yeah. It, it's it's kind of weird um how it happened because we were this is the first time in a relationship after i got off big brother we weren't preventing yeah because we figured at that point when nicole got off we're gonna get married in december Mm -hmm. if she gets pregnant now no big deal you know because we'll have our pregnancy yeah she'll be a few weeks whatever and it'll be and we don't know how long it's gonna we've never tried so we this could take i've seen people it, it, it can take years exactly and so um we decided to just like we avoided the ovulation period as well. We well, thought we didn't avoid it. Per we just se. we just didn't utilize it. Well, so uh, actually, what actually happened uh, <laughs> oh was no, because you're you're right at the same time. But it's not that we avoided it; is that we figured out we found out that our wedding was canceled. Right. Oh yeah, that's why. And you're then right. at that point, we're like, okay, we're not we're not going to prevent anymore. Mm-hmm. Right, we're we're just gonna try to get married and then do it, but yeah. it was already too late, and that's when your ovulation cycle was actually hitting. Yeah, it wasn't my ovulation cycle. I don't think was correct in the app mm-hmm. that I had because, and Big Brother, my period was like non-existent because I was so stressed out. Um, so I think everything was just kind of out of whack. And then, for all I know, it could have happened on finale night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we don't know, but. Um, So how pregnancy weeks work, because this is interesting and you may not know, is you don't count from, or the doctor doesn't even count from the day that you conceive. They count from the day of your last menstrual cycle. Yep. The first day of your last menstrual cycle. So um, that's where you count from. And then they do a transvaginal ultrasound to see if you are measuring up to what they think from your last menstrual cycle because it's kind of just a guess and then they um and then they they confirmed mine and so that's how they get the weeks yeah what was the last date of your thing um, was that, you guessed it pretty good yeah it was like remember i once i won the competition um, I said I started my menstrual cycle because I could finally breathe. I thought I was final oh, yeah. too. That's right. And so that's why it's just also strange to me is how this really happened because I was on my menstrual cycle when I kind of when I left the house, right? Uh-huh. But it was like kind of spotty, whatever. And then, um, so it technically, I don't think could have happened on finale night. Yeah. But that's how I tried my ovulation period, trying to figure things out. But like I said, it was just. It was weird. Um, yeah, I was doing a bunch of research on that too, like mm-hmm. on uh, on at the actual conception date, and they don't know when that is. Like and scientists can, don't yeah, know when that and is. And you can like, oh, 
They, what do you mean they don't know what it is? How it they is? don't know exactly oh. when it happens. They don't know. Right. There's no way to pinpoint that mm-hmm. exact moment. I mean, you can guess, right? Right. But it, even when you do have that intimate night, mm-hmm. it's not that night that it happens. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you, you might not be, I might not be ovulating, so it can't happen. That, it's just all so, so crazy yeah. how it's actually only three days that you can, a window of three days that you can kind of get pregnant. And we notched that window. Yeah, we did. <laughs> We're so lucky. Um, and I guess we can go into, I wanted to kind of explain that for a little bit. We've known since I've been four weeks. So since yeah. November 22nd, um, my goodness, it's been a long time. It's been scary um, to kind of just hope that everything's going to keep going okay. Yeah, and what what actually happened was we were um, we had like I said we we said we didn't prevent, and then we went to the grocery store one day here in Ubley, and I was like, or in Bad Axe over here, and I was like, well, why don't you just grab some pregnancy tests? She's like, what? No like, way. Yeah, I was like, no. And I was like, well, I mean, you just never know, right? You never know. It's good to have those on hand. And and I've never taken one before. So. And, and we actually, Nicole was so hesitant, we had to hide them under some other groceries that we had because she didn't want anybody seeing that. I didn't want people to think I was like <laughs> trying and then, because you know everyone in the grocery store and then they're like, oh, she's trying, but well, then if from, I'm from not where getting we're results. From, <laughs> yeah, you know. Everybody knows everybody, yeah. right? So we were trying to keep that very low key and and then, I mean, casually one day... Yeah, one day Victor was just like messing around and he was like, hey, take one of those pregnancy tests. And I was like, what for? Like, they're expensive. I don't want to waste it. And he's like, just take it. And I was like, okay, I've never taken one before. Let's just take it. And this is like a week, at least a week before my missed um, menstrual cycle. Uh-huh. So I, I don't even think I, like it's can really catch it. Um, but anyways, I pee on it. And we both kind of look at it, and I was like, see, Vic, it's negative. And it was negative. It was negative. And so then I went back to throw it away like an hour later, and there was two lines. And I was just like, okay, let me... But it was faint, right? It it was kind of faint, yeah. And I was like, I was just like, there's got to be, um, this can't be right. And so I Googled it, and it said, yeah, like, disregard results after 10 minutes. Like, you get a lot of false positives, and so I threw it away just like believing Google, right? Uh-huh. And then I got a little curious like a couple hours later and I started to see people say, well, if another line shows up, that means there's HCG in your urine. So it really can mean positive. So then the next day I had my mom over, we were making caramel apples for our shower. And I told her, I was like, there's no way, but I had, I had been craving pasta for breakfast every day for the last like week. <laughs> and I put it in my story. I didn't think anything about being pregnant. And so then I just kind of, my mind started going, I was like, Oh my God, like, what if I am pregnant? So I told my mom, I was like, I showed her, I kept the test. I didn't tell Victor that I saw the other line cause I didn't want him to get excited and have it not be a thing. And I showed her and she was like, I mean, that looks positive. I was like, yeah, but it's been, it was like an hour later. So then I went to the bathroom and just took another one, um, expecting it to like confirm that I'm not. And within like five to 10 seconds, there was two lines. It wasn't my first pee of the morning. It was like six days out from my menstrual cycle. I scream for my mom. She comes in the bathroom. So my poor mom didn't get to find out like in a cute way. I was like, mom, what does this say? She goes, oh my God, you're pregnant. And she was so happy. And what's funny with that is Nicole's uh, sister-in-law, essentially, she was here, but she didn't want to give her the news to give everybody the news right away, right? Because she wanted to tell me first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so Nicole and her mom can't really talk about it outside of the bathroom afterwards the no, rest of my, the day <laughs> she's like what did nicole need oh because ashley was saying like um <laughs> poor ashley she's so nice she's like um uh what do you need nicole i can get it for you i was like no i need my mom <laughs> i was like screaming from the bathroom and then um she my mom's like oh yeah she dropped a toilet paper roll and it rolled into the corner <laughs> i was like oh my gosh whatever 
This episode is brought to you by Magic Spoon. And I don't know about you guys. We were talking about resolutions. The new year, we were talking about we want to eat better, yeah. exercise more. Mm-hmm. And I don't know about y'all, but eating cereal was definitely one of my favorite things growing up. And I still love cereal, but I want to do it in a healthier way. And that's why I use Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon has zero sugar, 11 grams of protein, and only three net grams of carbs in each serving. There's four flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted, and blueberry. The fruity is amazing. Yeah, that's the one that I like the most, honestly. And it's honestly too good to be true. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, and GMO-free. I'm telling you guys, it's amazing. I use it as a snack when I get home from work or in between meals or even if I just want a bowl of cereal in the morning. I had it this morning. (laughs) (laughs) So go to magicspoon.com forward slash coco to grab a variety pack and try it today. And be sure to use our promo code coco at checkout to save five dollars off your order and magic spoon is so confident in their product it's backed with a hundred percent happiness guarantee so if you don't like it for any reason they'll refund your money no questions asked yep that's magic spoon.com slash coco and use the code coco to save five dollars off we thank magic spoon for sponsoring this podcast so later on uh okay wait so no so let me tell let me say this so uh Nicole looking at that first test, right, and seeing that it had a second faint line. Yes. I had left the house while she was doing this. Mm-hmm. And while I was gone from the house, I was thinking to myself, I don't know what I was doing, but I was like, you know, I want to go take a peek at that test one more time. Like maybe, maybe another line came <laughs> up, you know, like I'm just going to look, mm-hmm. right? And then I don't tell Nicole this. I'm just on my own little mission. I come in the house and I go into the bathroom where the test was. And I don't see it on the toilet, mm-hmm. like on the on the top of the toilet, and I don't see it in the trash. And I'm like, huh, that's weird. And that was it. <laughs> like yeah. I didn't think you anything didn't, else like, pursue, of it. Right. Like, <laughs> and you know what's really weird is I would never have taken a pregnancy test had you not like jokingly suggested yeah. it. And now just this moment I was thinking like what was the reason you jokingly suggested it? And I think I know because – I was on going into the Big Brother house. I was on Cymbalta, which mm-hmm. is like an anxiety um, medication, which is really bad for pregnancy. Yeah, and thank goodness that I found that out at four that weeks. Early. Yeah, because yeah, I didn't want to have to wait until because my period wasn't regular for the last three weeks in the house. So I probably wouldn't even have thought much if I had missed my period. Mm-hmm. Um, and so maybe that's why it really. Really Funny how, helped. yeah, things line up like that. Yeah, and because well, that's really early to find out. And she got off Cymbalta right away. She yeah, I cut just cold turkey. <laughs> yeah, I talk more about that. I have a YouTube video that I made um, when yeah. I was eight weeks, and I think I'm going to put that out. But I talk about that a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Um, dissect that but yeah so <laughs> that's our story but how i told victor oh yeah is different and i plan on posting the video you should post that video when this episode okay. comes out as like uh you know so yeah okay it, it correlates really well with what we're talking about okay so try explain it on here i mean you can yeah, yeah. definitely okay. definitely I feel like I'm talking a lot this episode, but I'm excited. No, it's it's your pregnancy, your your body. Uh, but uh, to give it some context, if yeah. you guys remember, uh, we had our bridal shower, right? So uh, we had our bridal shower. I, don't, I can't remember. November twenty second. November twenty second. So November twenty first is when Nicole finds out. Oh yeah. As I, we're preparing right. for I the bridal found... shower the next day. Yeah, I said we've known since the twenty second. I mean the twenty first. My yeah. bad. Mm-hmm. And so all this is kind of happening as Nicole is trying to get her bridal shower together. And like a okay, <laughs> and like a freaking pandemic online virtual shower. Uh-huh. Just like what a mess. Yeah, all this is going on. And Nicole's trying to tell me this before because she doesn't want to wait too long. Yeah, right? I was thinking, okay, let me wait like a little bit and do something really cute. I couldn't wait. I was like so excited. I wanted him to know. So me and my mom kind of came up with this like weird plan, okay? Because <laughs> we were we needed something now. So one thing we did is we went and bought a cute onesie from someone local that said like new to the herd. Uh-huh. Okay, so then uh, we went we ran all the way like several miles to go grab this at like seven p.m. And they told me they were they were gonna go pick up food, and so I gave them some food that I wanted. So I had to pick up the food. <laughs> 
They're like, do you want something from there? I was like, yeah, let me look at the menu. And I, I can just imagine the back of their mind like, oh. Shoot. It's God. the only thing we ordered. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, okay, but mom, if he pulls out like, op- if I tell him to open a present, that's like kind of obvious. It's weird. She's like, well, put it in a soup container. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Anyways. So that was option one. Option two was Victor. Um, oh, my mom made these cute aprons for us for our shower. So I guess it used to be an old thing when she was getting married they would wear aprons and you'd pin a bunch of stuff to the aprons and then the guests would later have to guess you know what was on the aprons were you paying attention so um mom's like you could you could do something with those i was like okay yeah so we get back here i'm like victor since the shower is virtual a game that we're doing for facebook is they have to kind of remember what's on our aprons so let's like go through every let's put our aprons on let's go through and say what each thing is like you name mine and i'll name yours Mm -hmm. um and then (laughs) and then so we put the pregnancy test in the pocket and the funny thing of all this is (laughs) i'm in flip-flops i look like crap and they're trying to get me to do this video that's for me is going to be posted on facebook and i'm like well just give me a second like and they're trying to rush me and i'm like i just I, let me put some clothes on yeah, right? he, i look he, like a first, hobo right first now first he was just like he was like no we'll do it tomorrow yeah. or we'll do it tomorrow i was like no we're not gonna do it tomorrow. i was like it's already like seven o'clock at night like i'm done for the day this is like how a proposal goes down usually like just I'm, do it tomorrow i'm like let's just can we just do this tomorrow and they're like no we got to do this tonight and i was like well let me just get dressed at least right and then they start this, the recording yes this was he goes through like freaking five minutes and then he goes i don't want to restart well because they were like talking the thing is in my head and I sh- it should have clicked right away. Me and Nicole usually don't record something unless it's going to be perfect, right? So in this video, like her mom starts recording and she's already talking ahead of the recording before we start talking. I'm like, this doesn't sound like professional, right? Like we should start over. And they're like, no, 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 let's just do it. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, what is going on here? So then Victor's like, restart. So then we freaking restarted it. And then finally... He, yeah, we go he through names all the items. everything yeah. and then he my mom's like i think there's something in the pocket i'm like oh yeah there's something in the pocket and then he pulls it out and it's a really cute reaction i'm excited for you guys to see it yeah i broke down <laughs> yeah. i lost it i lost it it was just a crazy 24 hours let me tell you and it then was. um and then at the shower i had to hide like not drinking um, so I'm just drinking like orange juice in my champagne. <laughs> like it was just, it's, it's a lot that we go through trying to hide this stuff. Yeah. I don't, uh, I don't know how you guys do that. And she, she did a good job keeping it a secret for so long until now, you know? Yeah. Nobody, nobody guessed, nobody knew, mm, no, which is pretty cool. Yeah. That's really good. Okay. So let's see what next. Okay. How about you talk about how we told your parents? Um, we told them around eight weeks. Oh, oh my God. This was a disaster in and of itself. <laughs> Nothing ever goes as planned. I just don't. So I, I text message my sister because we were supposed to go over there for Thanksgiving, right? I think Thanksgiving. Um, yes, we were. We were supposed to go over there for Thanksgiving. And, uh, and then when we found out Nicole was pregnant, we're like, well, we're definitely not going to go, right? Mm-hmm. COVID risk, all this stuff. Um, and so I tell my sister, I'm like, hey, look, I sent you and mom and dad a present because my parents were going to be at her house. Um, I sent you guys a Thanksgiving present because I'm not going to be there, right? And she's like, a Thanksgiving present? I was like, yeah, I just feel bad because, you know, you guys were excited to see me, so I'm just going to send you guys a gift. Just don't open it until you and mom and dad are together, right? Mm Because I want to FaceTime you guys, all you guys together, you know, and and you're there and it's going to be great. She's like, okay. All right, so the day comes that we're going to tell them uh, because the package arrives and my parents are driving to Florida. And I'm just waiting for them to get there so my sister can FaceTime me, right? right? right. And then we can have a normal conversation. They can open and be excited together. Mm -hmm. So I get a FaceTime call and it's the exact opposite. It's, what? Well, on, on the way, on the way there, while Vic's waiting for them to arrive, they like what happened to their tire? <laughs> like they had to change oh, their yeah, tire. Oh that's even like it was just like a very yeah. They get long... a flat on the way there, delays <laughs> them like an hour and some. And yeah, so he gets a call. All that aside, but yeah, yeah I get a FaceTime call and everybody's yelling, exciting, happy, and I'm like, what the heck happened? Yeah. And it's like, oh, you're pregnant. We're so happy for you. And I'm, I'm in the and I feel bad because at that at that exact moment, I was a little angry because I was like. <laughs> 
I, we had this plan. Like I wanted to be part of the moment. And luckily my sister recorded my parents' reaction. Mm-hmm. But what happened is my sister thought she can just open her gift and then like FaceTime when my parents got there, you know, to them to open their gift. And so she knew before my, when my parents got yeah, there. Yeah, so she was like throwing and it And she's at them. forcing them to open this <laughs> gift. And they're like, well, let us unpack and get ready. And she's like, no, you got to open it now. And then they called all excited. <laughs> So that was a, yeah, that was a mess. That was a mess. Oh my God. Okay. So then how I told my family, um, what, so my mom already knew. And then my dad, we got him a little cute spoon that said like, you're going to be a grandpa. Mm -hmm. And we basically what Vic, we like organized this breakfast. Yeah. Like we were going to have a, 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 I don't know what it was for. I don't know if we said anything specific, but we're going to have a breakfast at your house. Yeah. So yeah. so we're coming over for breakfast. And anyways, um, we made coffee for him and we just stirred it with a spoon. Oh, we told him <laughs> we were making our own coffee line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this ex- this, so like try. Oh, yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. We're going to make our own line of coffee and we need you to try and let us know what you think. So anyways, it took forever for him to figure out the freaking spoon. Well, he's so pokey. He he wasn't. He never took the spoon out of the. He was drinking it with the spoon in. Yeah, and then I think eventually I told him I was like I was just messing around with the spoon that I had, and I was like, oh, you know, oh, yeah. only like one uh, percent of people can balance a spoon on their nose. Which you can do that. That's so weird. I just made that statistic up. Oh, oh, a lot of people can do that. <laughs> I don't know if they can or can't. I, can. I was just trying to get him to get the spoon and look at it in front right. of his face, and he still didn't do it. And then when he found the spoon, he goes, that's a weird spoon. What's on the spoon? Like it doesn't fit in his, like it's not part of their drawer, right? Yeah. It doesn't match the other spoons that they have. And that's how he's like, what? No way. And then I told my brother separately, it said at the bottom of his mug, um, you're going to be an uncle. But he was, he drank a whole cup of, oh, I poured wine into it because it was at night. It was a game night. I poured wine into it. And, and like, I thought she was only going to pour a little bit. Nicole filled up the whole well, thing. Well, because you could breed it unless it was thick. Um, and so then anyways, he drank it and he was pouring more yeah. wine. And then someone was like. Your dad, he was like, what's that? Is that dirt on the bottom of the. <laughs> yeah. And then, oh, my gosh. What a disaster. I know. Those but are... everyone was so excited when they found yeah. out. So Everybody was happy and excited. It's just. How it went down was, it was chaos. <laughs> we wanted to kind of wait till Christmas, but the reason we didn't wait until Christmas to tell our immediate family was because we were real excited, but also because... Um, COVID. COVID. Yeah, we wanted everyone to be extra careful. Yeah, they're, they're um, part of what they call over here, I guess, like your pod. Yeah. <laughs> so they're part of our pod. To make smart decisions. Yeah. It kept everyone even safer, I feel like. Yeah, Absolutely. And actually, I just got my uh, I just got my COVID shot. Yeah. Um, as part of like, hey, because Nicole's probably not going to get it because they don't know the effects on definitely pregnant women yet. Mm-hmm. Um, and as it's still being tested, obviously, but I got my shot and it wasn't bad at all. I just I was a little tired afterward, and my arm was really sore for two days. Mm-hmm. But besides that, I mean, I was fine. I didn't get really sick or anything. I mean. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what other people's reactions were, but mine was completely fine. And I get my re-up shot uh, next month, I think the February 5th or something like that. So be a little extra protected here at this household. Yeah, definitely. And that's pretty cool because I think a lot of people were at, well, not I, not I think, I know a lot of people were commenting on our photos about our wedding. So just like a uh, little tidbit yeah. about that is yep. we are not going to wait until after the baby we are going to do it in march in florida in a small wedding yep we're not moving it again no this is it (laughs) this is this is set in stone if it's uh, just me and nicole at this place getting married that's how it's gonna happen because i'm over it yes (laughs) so that that's very exciting isn't it crazy how i mean the wedding is important Mm -hmm. but how unimportant it seems in relation to the baby it's 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 insane. It, it's how unimportant a lot of stupid stupidity, internet trolls, all that stuff is. Just like I don't give a shit. I'm just <laughs> we're worried about it. We just want to get married to get that out of the way right. and have our baby and yeah. then focus on the baby. It's weird how you just <laughs> I be I feel like my maternal instincts are already in where this is all I care about uh-huh. um, already, and I'm so happy about it. There's. So much that could be going on around me, but just like 
the core important things are even more clear now. Yeah. If yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. sense. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, it, it's great. Yeah. Cause this wedding was such a huge deal Before, for so long. That was I'm the, exhausted. That was the only focus, right? And yeah. th- there was nothing else that you wanted to worry about mm-hmm. because this wedding had to be so perfect. And now it's like, I want the wedding to be nice. Yeah. She's like, they're like, you, what, inv- what invites do you want? And I'm like, just pick them. They're like, what? I'm like, yeah, this is, this is like our third invite we're sending out. Just pick them. And they're like, well, just pick one. I'm like, okay, this one's great. Like, I don't, I'm not being picky with things. Even I don't have my wedding dress yet. Um, it's been, I, I don't know what, what wedding dress I'm wearing yet. I guess let's go there. But I don't have one wedding dress at my house because it was getting custom made. And now I switched to wanting something different. And so it's just like, who knows? What? Well, I'm not even worried about it. <laughs> I'm a little worried about it, but it's not something that's consuming me at all. Yeah, like it, like definitely before that was mm-hmm. a big thing with the wedding. Yeah, know? now I'm just like if worse came to worse, I'd go to. Um, I'd actually probably just go to a shop and say, "What do you have that I could buy now?" Yeah, right. Yeah. So, being pregnant kind of changes the wedding dress. Uh, I'll be 20 weeks. 20 weeks. So that's I'm gonna oh, have we, a bump. We can know the. Uh, I'm That's at the, 19, 20 weeks. You I'm can gonna know have the if bump it's a to debump. Male or female? I already have a bump. Um, Boy yeah. or girl? Yeah, you. We can know then. Well, I mean, technically, I guess you can know now, but we don't want to do the blood test. No, we want to wait for like the anatomy ultrasound. Yeah. I had a dream last night. Oh, uh, here we go. I have no, haven't heard this. I one. had a dream last night. It was a girl. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And it's ironic because I told you I had a dream a, a few weeks ago or a week ago that it was a boy. Oh my! You remember that? Our or? subconscious mind is giving us what we want. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nicole. So Nicole, you know, she wants a girl. I want a boy. I want it. We both want a healthy. But we baby. just want a healthy baby. You know. If, but I mean, I would just like love to have a little girl. <laughs> and I just think it's just it's fine. This isn't going to be. Um, we're going to have more kids and stuff, and That's we're going to be happy no matter what. It's just, it's exciting to, it's exciting to not know the gender. I kind of understand now why people might wait because all the way up to that point, you're just like, I don't know. Well, and we were at the <laughs> ultrasound and the doctor was like, so are you guys, when you do the ultrasound, do you want to know then? I was like, yeah. And Nicole's like, no. And I was like, what? She's like, yeah, we just want to do the envelope and do the whole gender reveal thing. And I'm like, oh, and it better be. So I'm in my mind, I'm like, this gender reveal better be the same day that we get that envelope. I'm really good at not looking at that stuff. I don't really trust you, though. I just I I just want to know. I don't know. I like this. I like the suspense. Yeah. And then the doctor's like, for being anxious, you like suspense. I'm like, yes. Yeah. I just I I don't know. I it's just it's just all so exciting. I know, but once... Okay, so we are going to find out because we are planning on adding on to our house. This is also something like that's kind of like... In the process In the of, process of... We've been looking for... Um, a new home. A new home. We've been looking for our dream farmhouse, even something we can make into our dream farmhouse. Right now, it's it's just really difficult. The market is dry. Yeah, Our house um, is not big enough right now, we feel. I mean, we could, but it's, we don't want to. No, we, we're so So cluttered. we're going to... Yeah. We're going to add on um, this spring, I believe, yeah. and make the nursery and do that. So it, finding out the gender will, I guess decide the wall paint <laughs> so so we will find out <laughs> <laughs> well the, we could do the gender reveal like a week that weekend of yeah we i'm thing, not sure you know. when we'll do it um okay wait i had one more thing go for it i can tell you're gonna try to wrap up no i wasn't okay so a couple questions were well this is one question that was really um prevalent they came yeah, up a prevalent lot. Was morning sickness. I was uh, really, I did have a lot of morning sickness, all day sickness uh, from like week six to eight. I was really sick. If you look at that Victorinox video on my Instagram, oh my God, I wanted to puke the entire time. (laughs) I was so like annoyed because I just felt sick and I knew Mm -hmm. I had to get it done. Like I couldn't even do my hair. I, it was a very rough two weeks, but then it went away, which was really cool um, that it went away. Yeah. And now I'm good again. But it was two weeks of just constant sickness. But I never puked. I kind of wish I did sometimes because I thought it'd make me feel better. 
but um, just always feeling dizzy like you just rode the scrambler for 24 hours. <laughs> okay, and then that's that's basically... Um, I do have a lot of cravings, uh, but we'll bring that up in the weird or normal, but okay. that, that's like pretty good for this episode, huh? Yeah. And I, I do want to read, uh, this though. So, okay. uh, we are, we're week 12. Okay. So I'm just going to read about our baby. Okay. Baby has doubled in size. And this is from the app, what to expect that I keep up with. Uh, by now your baby weight is a full half ounce with a crown to rump length of two to two and a quarter inches. <laughs> About the size of a lime. It's hard to believe, especially from the outside, since you're probably barely showing at this point, but your baby has more than doubled in size during the last three weeks in pregnancy. That's crazy. This week marks a turning point for your baby. At 12 weeks pregnant, the Herculean task of developing new bodily structures is nearing an end. As most of your baby's systems are fully formed, though there's still plenty of maturing to do, now comes a maintenance phase during which your fetus's system continues to evolve for the next 28 weeks and the organs get to work. For one thing, the fetal digestive system is beginning to flex its muscles, literally, as it starts practicing contraction movements, a skill your little peanut will need after (laughs) birth to push food through the digestive tract. Bone marrow is busy making white blood cells, weapons that will one day help your baby fight infection, one she's or he's, out of your safe haven in a regular playgroup. And the pituitary gland at the base of the brain has started producing hormones that will enable him or her <laughs> mm. to make babies of their own for decades or so. Why, why is this saying that it's a her? I don't know. But that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Uh, is there more? <laughs> um, bum, 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 bum. No, no. It's really, it. it's really crazy to me that a human is growing inside. I mean, I know everyone that gets pregnant like says this, but until you experience it, it's really weird and crazy and and cool. Um, but oh, and another thing is too is like when people's bump show. I think it's really good to be sensitive about it. But just so you know, it's not the baby that's necessarily showing early on. It's our (coughs) our uterus is growing. So for me, um, mine started showing already at 11 weeks because my uterus got way bigger than what it was. It was the size of a grapefruit. Now my baby's the size of a lime. So So would it be inappropriate to see somebody like that and say, hey, I could see your uterus. It's showing. No, but it'd be weird. <laughs> I just think it's so. I think that some people are just like, "Whoa, they're showing already!" Like as if our baby is just like ginormous. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. It's like no. It, it's like our uterus. But if it is showing, cool. Like I want a bump. Mm-hmm. I I want to start confirming. Being pregnant, you want confirmations of um, being pregnant and it be and your baby being healthy. And up to I'd say like twenty weeks, you don't feel nineteen twenty weeks, you don't feel your baby kick. So that's what you have is a bump. I had my nausea. That was comforting. I hated it, but it was comforting because I knew like, okay, I'm pregnant. Yeah. And then once I started to feel better, um, I was like, okay, wait, what's wrong? Like, mm-hmm. Why am I feeling better? I don't want to feel better if that means like something's wrong. But it, it's it's weird, but <laughs> it's I think it's maternal instincts and um, I can't wait to be a mom. <laughs> can't wait to be a dad. All right, baby. Weird. Or. Normal. Okay, so I guess my craving is Italian dressing. That's, I mean, <laughs> that wouldn't be my first choice if I, I had know. a craving. But I guess you don't dictate what craving oh, you no. have. You can't pick it. I don't like, I hate things that I loved and I like things that I hated. It's so weird, Victor. But for Italian dressing, it's gone a little bit overboard where I'm just like looking at what can I put Italian dressing on and consume it. Oh, that's so (laughs) weird. That is weird. Oh, it's so weird. I guess cravings in and of themselves are weird because you have no control over them. And and I want, like, I love pickles. I love pickled eggs. I love all that stuff. You guys know that. Right now, no. Really? Like, I cannot, I will not just do that on my own. Hallelujah. Thank you. (laughs) <laughs> I hate the smell of pickled stuff. <laughs> and I will, the thing is, is I'll make something for quite a while and Vic will see me and I'll just throw it in the trash. I was like, nope, can't do it. <laughs> I thought I could do that. I can't do it. <laughs> and I'll spend like all this time making something and nope, 
don't want that either. It seems like I have to eat something that's like prepared for me. Yeah, you know what she's craving? Takeout. Yes. She's always craving takeout. Yes. That that's what I'm craving. And <laughs> and I've been eating at my parents when Vic works. I my, the last two nights and I'm like, mom, you're like the best cook. She's like, I think you're just like someone cooking for you. Because by the time I get done cooking, I feel sick. Like I'm so grossed out by the process about cutting up stuff. Ugh. Like I love vegetables normally. <laughs> I can't even look at vegetables. Like it's really bad. But um, I will eat if the food's in front of me. So <laughs> girls got to eat. <laughs> if the, the food is prepared and it's right there, she'll have at it. <laughs> so true. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, man. Is that all you got for them today, baby? Yes. Well, I hope you guys are as excited as we are. And if you're not, I don't care because we're going to be parents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Uh, we will keep you up to date on the pregnancy. If you have any questions, please mm-hmm. DM uh, the probably the podcast page, the yeah, our podcast page at Coco Caliente or, Podcast. Yeah, or on Coco Caliente Podcast.com. There's like a little box there. Yeah, you can send us a message through there. So definitely if you have any questions, reach out to us. Uh, and if you want some advice from Coco, for sure, I don't know much or anything about pregnancy or being pregnant. So I will not be your resource in this matter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, guys. You can listen to this anywhere you listen to podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher. And please rate, review, and subscribe. The easiest way is at Apple Podcasts. Where you can also listen. Uh, you can also go to www.cococalientepodcast.com and you can listen there. And sometime soon, we'll have new merchandise. Yes. Uh, don't forget, like I said, follow us at Coco Caliente Podcast on Instagram and at Coco Caliente Pod on Twitter. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.